Hi, I'm Ishmael from World Bike Girl and I've been cycling the world solo for about three years now with some breaks in between and I want to run over my kit that I'm using for this leg of the journey so I'm speaking to you from Misty Hostel in um, Rio de Janeiro so apologies if there's any background noise and this is going to be my starting point for cycling four and a half thousand kilometres up the coastline of Brazil and then I'm going to be taking a left turn. I've got 6,000 kilometres through the Amazon jungle. A lot of that I will be doing by boat because um, I've heard that there is a bit of a land war going on there at the moment, so for safety. Then I'm going to be cycling the northern tip of Peru, across Ecuador and across Colombia and then we'll see how I feel and what I want to do next. So when it comes to packing your kit and choosing the equipment that you want to take on your tour, there's really no right or wrong answer. It's a really personal and individual choice. The only thing I would say that you have to be really, really aware and careful of is choosing kit primarily for your safety. Once you've got the kit that's required for your safety, and that's determined by the conditions you're going to be cycling through, um, then you're really free to take as much or as little extra as you want. This is the tent I've used from the very beginning of my trip um, three years ago and it's a Hilberg Atto. Um, it's a one person tent and it's four season and this has never let me down. I will never use any other tent. Um, I've camped in very extreme conditions, high altitude, extreme weather. I mean I've witnessed tents flying through the air with clothes all falling out of it. Um, and this has just never let me down. I trust it completely. It's really important for me because I do travel on my own. I am traveling in really remote places. I can't guarantee I'm not going to have a storm. Um, so yeah, Hilbert Act. To be honest with you, I am very disorganized when it comes to planning and, and kit and packing. Um, so new for this year, I have a hammock set up and that's because um, I'm going to be in tropical regions for most of the year. Um, so this is the Exped hammock. I've still to test it. I've never used it. I've never put one up before. This is the suspension kit which apparently um, is going to attach this hammock to the trees. This is my mosquito net. Mosquitoes go for me like in Scotland the midges and um, I want to protect myself from everything. From the spiders, from the flies. I'm scared of everything you can imagine, snakes, creepy crawlies, so this is so big when it when it's up that um, I didn't say it. <laughs> this is the tarp that I've chosen, it's a 3 meter by 3 meter and again this is for periods when the rainfall is going to be too much, I can't move, I'm going to be grounded, I'm going to be in the same spot and at least I have a big camp to relax in and um, chill out waiting for the rain to stop. This is the Exped air mattress and I would not travel without this now, I just wouldn't. Um, this I, came, I got this about six months into my trip and before that I was using the rolling mats. Um, and when you're on the road every day, you're cycling, I do a lot of trekking as well, you're camping every night, um, this just, it's like sleeping on a bed, it's an air mattress, you pump it up with your hands or this, I've just acquired this, I've still to test it out, so you can attach this on and apparently you can roll this bag and it pumps it up for you and you can also use it as a, a sort of dry bag as well. I am not travelling with a sleeping bag this time, what I've chosen instead is to travel with a, a liner, so this is a cotton liner for a sleeping bag but it's anti-mosquito, so that's what I've chosen because I am in tropical Areas. I've got this with me this year and that's the Hilbert kit for pitching just the inner tent on its own. The reason I've got this is because last year I cycled from the southern tip of South America, Ushuaia, across Tierra de Fuego, um, up Chile, Argentina and then across Bolivia and I cycled two and a half thousand kilometres across Brazil to Rio and through um, that I had to cycle the Pantanal jungle which was so so hot and so humid and I didn't have this and I didn't have a hammock so I was sleeping in my double skin tent and it was just like a swimming pool every night, it was so uncomfortable. This is my mascot, most people that cycle the world end up with a mascot, this same, um, I got this in Bolivia and this sits at the front of my handlebar bag and it's my smiley face 
just that's the first thing that people will see. I always carry these and this is my um, safety net because there are times when I've been cycling, maybe I've ran out of money for a lot of while, my blog hasn't brought in anything and um, I cycled across a country once without being able to use my bank card and with these, as long as I've got a couple of these, I can make these little bracelets and these sit in the front of my handlebar bag and each of these bracelets I can swap for a meal. This is my egg carrier um, and it sits on the out, outside of my front carrier so I boil my eggs and I put them in there and it just saves you putting your eggs in your panniers because like, it's a bit stinky. We have this cycling in hot countries because trying to get the sun away from you is just like a nightmare. I've got a multi stove here which works from petrol, gas, um, white spirits and this is actually a two litre pot. This is from Sea to Summit and it does expand. I've got my little water bottles. This is to carry my petrol or diesel for um, using up my stove. This is instead of um, matches or a lighter which can get wet. I just use this. My spark. So I've got medication in here because I do have asthma. My shampoo and conditioner is in these bags so you can sort of fold them up as you're using them. I always carry nail polish with me. I like different colours. I always carry perfume with me. Sun cream. I'm on factor 50 sun cream and factor 70. I also carry insect repellent. This is the first time I've ever carried a first aid kit and that is because I'm going through the Amazon. This is um, bandanas and these have been um, soaked in a thing called, a chemical it's called perme, perme something and that's to um, stop the tick. So in Brazil you've got a big problem with tick. I would just tie one of these to the bottom of my ankles and that would stop me getting ticks. So this is for my time when I'm in the cities, exploring cities. So I do carry a hand coffee. <laughs> and I've got my towel. It's a giant towel. I've got Wild, the Beardless Adventurer. This has been donated to me. It's an SAS Jungle Survival book. This bag is my clothes for um, the full year that I'm going to be cycling and in another video I'll go through this bag and show you what I've packed. Because I rescue animals along the way as I'm cycling, I have a dog trailer attached to the back of my bicycle. I also have to cycle with this is the bowl um, for obviously food and water and I carry a collar. And I'm riding the Kibo Expedition bike from Stanforth Bikes. I'm on the road every day, I'm camping every day, my wife is on the road so I want to be comfortable. I'd rather be carrying more weight and squashing more things into the bags and at least be comfortable for what I'm doing. So I've been really quick making this video and that's because I am um, speaking from a hostel so obviously there's a lot of people coming in and out and um, so sorry if it's, it seems quite rushed. If you have any questions about any of the kit that I've got or the choices that I've made, please just leave a little message under the video and I will get back to you and answer your question. Thank you, bye.